Hey Virgo, it's Suzanne, how are you? Okay, so we're gonna do your reading for March 25th through March 31st. Okay. <clears throat> Everything's been pre-shuffled. Um, I just wanna thank everybody for all of their likes and shares and comments. I really appreciate it. Please continue to do so. <clears throat> Helps my channel. One more shuffle. All right, so let's see what's going on with you guys with Virgo this week. Oh, nice. Humor. <laughs> I choose to focus on the lighter side of life. Wow, that's awesome. If that's you. And then fear we have. I realize that I'm testing my resolve to live in the energy of love. Okay, there's only really two true emotions and that's fear and love. Okay, sadness, anger, all of those emotions come from fear. Huh, all right. Interesting combination this week. All right, so I'm using the Crystal Visions. I like this deck because, of course, they are beautiful and pretty, and they're easy for you guys to see. All right. I have all the dogs up here today, so if you hear anything... <laughs> background that is what it is I've got one complete nut and then the other two are pretty chill <clears throat> okay all right let's see what we have going on for Virgo eight of Pentacles all right dedication hard work Some attention to detail. Down here we have the chariot. Okay. All right, so I feel like this person kind of knows the path that they want to take and has some fear around it. Like the path or the direction that they need to go in has made itself known, but there's some fear around it. This person is definitely dedicated to putting in the work and you know might just be like I feel like I feel like this is you and I feel like you've held a heavy energy for a long time and it feels like you're you just you're just kind of letting some of the the burden of the burden of it off your back and you are looking at the lighter side, you're still dedicated, okay? You know, and I think what this is about is focusing on maybe quality of time versus quantity of time. And this person down here I think is, <clears throat> might be moving in a direction that is really, is challenging you guys with quantity of time versus quality of time. I feel you're, you're okay with quality time, even if there's not a huge 
quantity of it. I think this person is fearful of that. And it's based on this path that they know, this direction that they know that they have to move in for their best, their, their higher good. And I think there's a fear of potentially losing this. You. Death. Transformation. Like I just said, I feel like you're coming out of a heavy energy. Like there's something happened where you are really just letting go of the weight of it. I feel like this person still holds the weight of, you know, whatever was between the two of you and the weight of this decision about what direction they're going in. But this death or transformation for you is extremely healthy. Capricorn got this too. So this is definitely an energy for earth signs right now, I feel. Um, you're just, you're able to focus more on, on yourself. Not that you're not focused on this person, but, you know, I feel like there's a greater balance for, for earth signs. And this transformation is very healthy for you, for sure. This person, you know, could, could be a little behind in, Maybe their spiritual journey is what I'm feeling because they are, you know, in a state of fear here. And not to say that, you know, everybody isn't in fear sometimes. Ten of Cups. Yep. They're afraid to lose this with you. They're afraid to lose this ultimate love connection based on a choice that they know they need to make. And you're just kind of, you're just kind of going with the flow. You're not, you, you're just kind of, you, you can brush it off your shoulder and be, and be okay. Not to say that you, you're brushing this person off, but you're just not, I feel like you're just not carrying the weight of it that you were in the past. And this is a very, very healthy transformation for you. Yeah. Yeah. Look at, you're in your Queen of Wands energy. This is an attractive aura. This is, you know, and I think <clears throat> so many times, you know, when we do start focusing on the right things and growing things in our own life and paying attention to, you know, servicing and helping others and doing the things that we should be doing, you know, that brings out some of the most attractive qualities in you. And this person is seeing that, you know, because you're seeing yourself differently. So is this person. And it makes them that much more fearful of losing this Ten of Cups with you because they're seeing you like this. Four of Pentacles, what are they doing? They're holding on. They are holding on tight. To something within this connection or relationship. They want to hold on. They might want to hold on to where they are at currently, um, whether it's with you or in a job or in, you know, a relationship or family. They're, they're resistant to moving in this new direction that they know they need to move in. And it might be they're resistant to doing what they need to do to bring you closer in, closer to them. It could very well be that with this Ten of Cups here. They know they need to make steps. They know the path they need to take. You've either been very clear or, you know, even if you haven't, <laughs> even if you haven't been clear, there's an unspoken quality here where they know what they need to do and where they have been possibly lacking in the past. But they're hanging on to this idea of Ten of Cups with you. All right. 
let's see what the romance angels have to say about this. If they can confirm anything here. It's the stories have been pretty clear this week. Not for everybody. General readings. There might be something specific that you resonate with it or there may be nothing. That's okay too. One more. Capricorn, March 25th through the 31st. Okay, so up here we have codependency, addictions are affecting your romantic life. Okay, so you know, I kind of felt like I kind of feel like this is the almost the breaking of codependency. I feel like you're moving away from codependency. Barney, stop that. And then down here, you deserve love. You are lovable. Okay, this person is fearing that they are not lovable. Stop that, please. You're going to go in timeout. Okay. <laughs> I don't really put them in timeout. <clears throat> okay, so, yeah, so that's, that's how I read these. Um, this person is fearing, fearing. They're not going to have this with you. They're holding on for dear life in some way. And what they really need to hear is that they deserve this love. And I think you have just moved away from, like I said, throughout this reading, you're moving away from carrying the heavy weight of it. And I almost feel like it's transferred over here to this person. So I feel like you're moving away from codependency on thinking about how to go forward with this relationship. I feel like you're just moving with the flow is what I'm getting. All right. All right, Virgo. That is, and you know what? If I said Capricorn, son of a gun, I didn't mean to say Capricorn. This is Virgo's reading. And I did that, I think, last week with Gemini. Um, so yeah, this is definitely Virgo's reading. So I apologize. If, if I did that because Capricorn had some of the same things in this in this reading so forgive me when I do that I'm I'm just in my in my zone all right so that's what I have for you Virgo and I will talk to you next week all right thanks bye